<coughs> Jose YouTube's PZ as seen here. Um, first of all, I do apologize for the bad lighting. Uh, but second of all, I want to apologize that uh, the these next two app reviews are actually going to be quite late. Um, so yes. Anyways, welcome to. Um, Christmas Eve's app review, I guess. Um, again, I do apologize that it is now actually after Christmas, but whatever. I do have an app to review. This is one I, I myself picked. I actually downloaded it today, and I used it today, and yeah. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and get into the zip of the day. Alright, so okay, let's go ahead help the lighting situation a bit. I just turned on a lamp, and it seems to help a little bit. So anyways, here is the zip of the day. This right here is it. This is the Candy Apple Red Zippo. All right, uh, the one for I guess yesterday um, was uh, the um, Metal Ice World. This is the Candy Apple Red. Very similar. Um, you can see here how in yesterday's video I was trying to make a point that um, that you know it's basically a street chrome finish that has been coated in a sort of red opaque plastic type coating. That is essentially what we have here. You can maybe see a little bit better here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Pretty cool. So basically, uh, again, for those of you who don't know what Street Crib is, it's a very scratchy finish and such. So very nice zippo. And uh, if you're wondering when it was made, it was made in... Do I have to refocus? Uh, I don't think I do. Well, I do. Actually. It was made in E of 2012. So there you go. Really quick one. If you're wondering how much it is. It is twenty one ninety five, so not too bad. So without further ado, let's go and get into today's app, which you can see right here is an app that's simply called Time Lapse. Okay, uh, I did use this uh, app actually previously today, and yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop it open. This would be a very quick app review, um, and uh, I'm gonna breeze the app real quickly because I kind of want to. Uh, well, you'll see. So. This is the app, alright, as you can see, what we've got here, we've got this, which is the viewfinder, alright, so, yeah, I mean, that's using the camera, I believe you can use the rear camera, how do I do that, I think, it, do I just tap there, I don't know, I think it said you can use the rear camera, I'm not really sure how you do that, uh, but no matter, you're most likely going to be using the, the, uh, the, or excuse me, you're most likely going to be using the rear camera, um, to record your videos anyways, what I was trying to say is that you some I think you can oopsies stop. Uh, apparently I accidentally started one. Um, <coughs> you can somehow set it to record from the front facing camera. At least I think you can, I'm not really sure. Anyways, we've got here you can see we've got a very simple interface. We've got two sliders and two buttons. Okay? Now, first of all let's take a look at these sliders. As you can see here we've got record FPS, or excuse me, record FPM on the left, and playback FPS on the right, alright? Now it's important to note that this is FPM and this is FPS, okay? I mean, just so you know. What this one on the left means, basically, this is the recording rate. So, right now, by default, it is set to 10 frames a, every a second. So what that means is that every, or excuse me, uh, per minute. So what that means is that every minute, uh, the uh, iPod will actually take 10 photos or frames, okay? So it's going to snap 10 pictures per minute, okay? And uh, it's just going to keep doing that until you tell it to stop, at which point it will stitch it together, and uh, the video that it stitches together will play back at 10 frames every second, which means that as you're watching the video, it's going to flash 10 of those frames at you every second. Essentially what this means is that each minute is going to be worth, is going to be equal to one second, okay? Um, so yeah, there you go. You can adjust this. This will go all the way up to 24 frames a second, which is a little unfortunate. I kind of wish I could set it all the way up to like maybe like 60 frames a second so I could get uh, one frame per um, second, but I don't know. That might actually be a little bit overkill. Um, I do think there are apps out there though that will do that. And then obviously this will go up to uh, 30 frames a second. Uh, luckily, the industry standard for frames per or for um, frames per seconds in like movies and videos is actually 24. So I try to keep this at 24, and uh, it still looks pretty good. But this is the one that I really, really mess with. Um, so yeah. Anyways, for the sake of this particular video, I'm going to be doing 
uh, I'm going to actually be shooting it. Well, here, let me go ahead and show you the buttons down here real quick. Basically, at the bottom, all we have is start and preview and share. So, yeah. Now, one thing to note about this app is that it is both portrait and landscape. However, when you turn it from portrait uh, to landscape like this, it is not obvious that anything is happening. All right, and I do apologize for that glare. Let me put this last Lego on, like that should be on there. Get on there. There we go. Uh, it is not obvious that it is in landscape mode, but it is in fact, the app is in fact in landscape mode, and it is actually going to record in this orientation. Same thing if you have it like this, it's actually going to record in portrait orientation. So, let's say I want to take a uh, time lapse of this Apple logo for some bizarre reason. So, all I have to do is uh, set my settings here. Let's say I want it to play it back at uh, 24 frames a second, and let's say I want it to record at 24 frames a minute. So, we're going to go ahead and hit start. As you can see up here, you got a little thing here. Every time I take a picture, it's going to say saving. All right, and uh, you can see here the frame count updates live, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, there we go. We've got this going on so far. Let's just uh, yeah. And uh, when you're done, when you're <coughs> excuse me, when you're satisfied with the particular time lapse, all you have to do is hit stop and save. What it will do is it'll actually render it and save it to your camera roll. As you can see, this is actually going to take it seven seconds. It's not exactly a fast process, but there you go. It's pretty fast, I guess. Uh, and then there you go. It's done. And then what you can do is you can do preview and share. And what you can do from here, you can actually send it to YouTube using these right here. Hang on. What you can do is that if you want to say share to YouTube, all you have to do is log into your YouTube right here, uh, and then just hit YouTube upload. Uh, but like I said, it is actually currently in my camera roll, so I could just do it from the camera roll, which I would pretty much recommend you do anyways. I don't know why. Or, I don't know. Um, and then what we have here is we've got play time lapse, so you can actually preview your time lapse. It'll open up a little player. Um, just this standard player, like you would find as if this were emailed to you. As you can see, this is a very short time lapse. So if I go ahead and hit play here, yeah, it's basically next to no time at all. Um, what I'm actually going to do is, uh, you can also, by the way down here, you can order a premium version or pay for a premium version to remove the ads, which I not going to do because I've actually never seen any ads. <laughs> and actually the way that I go about using this app, I probably will never see the ads because uh, a little bit here I'm going to be, actually in this next segment, I'm going to show you the uh, some tips that I do when I am using this app. So anyways, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and close out of this actually. I'm going to open up my camera roll. I'm going to go ahead and show you um, that it is again, indeed, storing my camera roll. It's actually right there. The, the uh, video thumbnail takes a little while to, to render up and load. But give it a little bit of time, and it should, I think. Maybe I have to open it first. I don't know. Yeah. So, there you go. Once you open it, it will, and I guess once you play it, um, it will actually render it. As you can see, it did record it in portrait mode there, because I had the iPod in portrait orientation. But we go back to camera roll. That thumbnail should pop up. This is another one that I recorded with the app, and it has a thumbnail. I don't know why this one's thumbnail is taking so long. But yes, I, I can re you rest assured there is th there are thumbnails with this. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's actually try out a real world example here. So what I mean by this is I don't know if you, this has been in frame or not, but what I have off to the side of the camera here, I've got this. So I've got this. Right, hang on. So what I've had off camera here is I've got this uh, candle here. It's brand new. It's a Yankee candle. <coughs> uh, smell the our uh, flavored Macintosh. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be basically recording a time lapse of this thing when it's been lit. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let the wax sort of melt. And then I'm going to blow it out, and then we're going to keep recording it so we can watch it solidify, I guess, if you will. Essentially, we're going to be watching a candle, uh, some candle wax melt, and, you know, for a little bit of time. And then we're going to blow it out, and then we're going to record it being solidified, which I think will be a pretty cool time lapse. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's pretty simple. It won't take much time at all, because it is kind of a, it is a semi-quick process. I was actually originally going to do ice, <coughs> ice melting, and I just slapped myself there, because I keep... I keep choking on myself. Um, yeah, I was, I was originally going to do ice melting, but I think that would take too long. But I do still think I will actually do that for my own amusement uh, later on. So anyways, let's go and use this candle as an example. So, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to do this in my room, because I'm actually, uh, while this is happening, I'm going to be on another computer watching YouTube videos, just because that's what I like to do to pass time. And, uh, yeah, I am not going to be in this room, because... 
I tend to feel like a hermit in this room, actually. So, yeah. Um, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's check it out. Actually, before we do that, and I do apologize for no music playing because I just put the iMac to sleep, I wanted to show you guys a few things that I like to do before I actually start up one of these things. What I'll actually do, um, is I'll actually activate airplay mode because there's no need for wi for the Wi-Fi to be kicked on because it's just a waste of battery. And, uh, yeah, this thing might not always be in a position to be plugged in while you're doing a time lapse, so go ahead and make sure you do that. As well as I lower the brightness. Whoops, that's the sound. I lower the brightness. Uh, now, for the sake of the fact that I'm recording a video, I'm only going to lower it maybe about that much, maybe even a little bit more, because, obviously, the screen still needs to be visible on the camera. Uh, when I recorded my previous one, I had it all the way down to, like, here. Uh, come on. Right, right. There. Actually, that is still pretty visible, so I guess we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, and let's go ahead and turn off auto brightness. So, yes, uh, that way we just have... Because, actually, the screen is a fairly big battery drainer, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, make sure that you've got this turned down. And then we are all set. This should last us quite a decent long... Or, quite a bit longer uh, with all these uh, things turned off. As well as it might be a good idea to go ahead and clear your... Um, your RAM. Just by doing this. Come on. Let's close out this, this, uh, brr, the, oh, whatever. Anyways, you get the idea. Just uh, clear out your quick thing, and you should be all set. Come on, open. Stupid home button. Stop it. Home button? Thank you. My home button's not being very nice to me these days. <coughs> so, Facebook, clock, uh, balloons, tower defense. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, and so, yeah. Right now, I've only got one app in there. That is the time-lapse app itself. So, yes. Anyways, now we can maybe go ahead and do this. Okay, so, I am now all set up to start my candle time-lapse. All I have to do, I've already set my frame rate. I've got it set so that way it records at 24 frames a minute, and it will play back at 24 frames a second. I think that will be pretty good. So, all I have to do is hit start after I cut the volume down because that, that shutter noise is going to get on my nerves. So, let's cut that down until it's completely mute. And hit start. Oh, it's still doing it. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Show. Oh, what? Stupid thing. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit here for a little bit, take a few pictures, and then after a little while, I will take this and light the candle and then let it go for a little bit. And then after a while, when I'm satisfied, I'll blow the candle out and then we'll let it record it, re solidifying. So, let's go ahead and I uh, guess. 16 frames, let's wait for 20 frames, and then we'll do it. Or excuse me, this, uh, 24 frames, I guess. Okay, so, here we go. Uh. This thing lights itself. And there we go. Just let that record for a little bit. Okay, so I think it's been ready for long enough. Um, so what I'm going to do when I'm satisfied with the length of the time lapse, as you can see, it is 1,292 frames long. Uh, think about it. Uh, again, like I said, the uh, recording rate was 24 frames a minute, and the playback rate is going to be 24 frames a second. So you can figure out how long this has been going uh, with that information. So um, let's go ahead and hit stop and save and it's going to start to stitch the thing together. Um, now it's going to be sideways, but as you will soon see, it, gives a, it takes a little bit of time to process everything. But... 
Here we go. So it'll take it about 975 seconds to render it. So after that, we can then uh, preview it and such. So I'll be back after that. According to some very basic math, I have deciphered that my video is going to be 54.21 seconds long. Um, so yeah, all I did to get this uh, was pretty simple. I just took the amount of frames, which as you can see is 1,301. So I keep that in. 1, 3, 0, oh, 1. And then I divided it by how many frames per second I have the video set to play back at, which is 24. So I divide it by 20, or by 24. And when I hit equals, pops up how long it's going to be, which is again 54 uh, seconds point 21. So yeah, about 54 seconds. So, this thing's been rendering for a little while. It should be about done. I don't know if we're going to witness it being done or not. But, I'll be back to you when it's all done. So, the other should, something else I should mention is that if you're wondering how much, how many, or how much time uh, in real life it took for your video to record, um, just take the amount of frames, which is again, 1301, or at my case at least, yours will probably be different, and then multiply it by how many frames per minute you had and uh, you will get that. Um, and as you can see, mine is actually 54 minutes and uh, 20, uh, 21 seconds because of the fact that um, I set it to record at 24 frames a minute. So basically one minute um, in real life during this video's recording is going to be equal to one second of video footage. So there you go. And this thing should be almost done. Okay, as you can now see, it is now done. And I've moved back into my room. And I'm going to close my door. Yes. And so, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, increase the brightness. And we will take a look at it. Boom. Alright. So now we can maybe see this a little better. And as well as I am going to try to start the Christmas suits back up. But uh, it seems to be a little bit slow in loading. So uh, we'll wait and see when that starts playing. But for now, we're going to go ahead and hit preview and save. Hopefully it's saved, uh, yeah. So, here we go. We can go ahead and choose play time lapse. So let's just go ahead and check out what we've got going here. I'm not going to upload it to YouTube through the app itself. I'm going to upload it through the camera roll. Just because, why the heck not. So, here we go. Ah, oh, come on. Flip right. There we go. I knew it wasn't a uh, portrait video. So, it's a little hard to see here, but I'm going to be uploading this video to my mobile channel. So, if you want to see it a little bit more clearly, uh, then check out my mobile channel for that. And I'll have a link somewhere to this. So, yeah. Anyways. You see how it is going. And a little bit of it should blow it out. I, th I let it... Uh, I let it. I, I kept it lit for about 1,000 frames. Yeah, for about 1,000 frames, and then you can see it solidify back over. Now that's pretty stinking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Then I tried to do a little stop motion there, and I think that's it. So, <coughs> excuse me. There you go. That is that. Again, like I said, it is in my camera roll now. So if I open up my camera roll, and if I hit my uh, camera roll, and if I hit my camera roll, and if I hit my camera roll, <laughs> and hit this video, we can again watch it in through the camera roll. So yeah, there you go. Uh, check uh, the annotation for the link to the uh, actual video on my mobile channel so you can see a little bit better, and in HD if I, so yeah, I'll upload in HD. So yeah. Uh, this video, by the way, will not take long at all to upload. It is only, again, 54 seconds, so it should take, like, only a couple minutes to upload. Um, yeah, if you, you can, like, email this to people in, like, next to no time at all, so. It just took it a while to render. I mean, I'm sure you've rendered videos before on your computer. And I'm sure that if you had an iPhone 4S or an iPhone 5, it would probably take a lot less time to render, um, uh, than this iPod did. So, yeah. Anyways...
There you go. We just blew it out, and it is uh, re-solidifying over. So that is actually really cool looking. Um, I'm not gonna lie. And so yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, and adios.